So you definitely want to use fasting if you have pain, especially chronic pain. I did another video on the topic of fasting with chronic inflammation, and I will put the link down below. But the influence you can create when you do fasting for chronic pain is huge. This data was taken from several sources. I'll put the links down below. Uh, one was doing a seven-day fast, which is considered a prolonged fast. But you can also achieve these benefits from doing intermittent fasting on a regular basis. How would the avoidance of food actually help your pain? Well, you're going to basically generate ketones. Ketones are an alternative fuel source that have antioxidant properties. They have anti-pain properties. They also protect the neurons. That's why it's really good for dementia and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. But it's also good for peripheral neuropathies where you have tingling or uh, nerve pain in your hands or your feet uh, from the damage that is created from diabetes or other things. Number two, fasting can release and help you recycle a lot of serotonin. Now, serotonin is typically involved in your mood. It'll bring you up. It will give you the sense of well-being. It also helps you sleep, but it has another important function in reducing neuropathic pain, which is basically pain from nerve damage. It can also reduce fibromyalgia, which is a pain involved in a lot of different muscle groups. Low serotonin can actually cause chronic pain, and people in chronic pain usually always have low amounts of serotonin. Raising serotonin alone can dramatically reduce pain. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter. And another uh, cool thing about fasting is it has the ability to increase neurotransmitter receptors in general. So it's not just about serotonin. It'll increase the receptors, the ability for that neurotransmitter to be absorbed in the body with different neurotransmitters like adrenaline, noradrenaline, GABA, dopamine, things like that. All right, number three, fasting stimulates neurogenesis. What is that? Well, neurogenesis is the regrowing of neurons or nerve cells. If you have nerve damage that's causing pain and you have more ability to grow that nerve, then your pain is going to go away a lot faster. It stimulates stem cells that help you grow new neurons. And that's part of number six. Fasting increases brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And you can look at this like miracle grow for your brain. It just allows the brain to grow back much better if there's damage. And lastly, fasting increases endorphins, which will not only increase your mood and make you feel better, but it will also decrease your pain. Now, if we look at the flip side of fasting and we look at frequent eating or overeating, or consuming carbs in general, what does that do? That creates a tremendous amount of oxidation in your vascular system and the capillaries that feed the nerves. This is why diabetics, for example, that have high amounts of sugar end up having all sorts of nerve damage because it destroys the circulation to the nervous system. They have pain syndromes. They have problems with the retina, which is a nerve. We know that problems with blood sugars can occur from a lot of carbohydrates or doing a lot of frequent meals with a lot of snacking or grazing in between. So if we just flip it and do the opposite and fast and not eat so frequently, we can get rid of pain pretty naturally. If you haven't seen my video on fasting and chronic inflammation, I put it up right here. Check it out.